Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Runaway Teen Challenge. I had to think about what it was for a second because it really just doesn't feel like a Runaway Teen Challenge <laughs> because we've well past the runaway part. I probably should start calling it like Alonzo Family Let's Play, but I feel like people would get confused and stop clicking on it. So anyway, um, here we are. Uh, Miss Noelle has just gotten out of the shower. I got her up really early to use the shower because Piper needed the shower too. Um, so she's going to take a nap on the couch until she has to go to work. She's going to be pretty tired at work. Um, but I'm hoping if we can just catch up on some sleep really quick. She might get a little bit stressed too. Um, but it's okay. Nothing some woohoo can't fix later. You know what I'm saying? Also, all the food from the party spoiled overnight. I was going to have everyone eat pumpkin pie for breakfast, but no. But we had, an, we had apples in our fridge, so we're going to eat those instead. Okay, Piper, it's time for you to get up. Hang out with Carmen. Yeah. Um, this is um, the third episode in a row I'm recording <laughs> right here, right now. I just finished the Christmas episode and the one right before that. I, like, like I, I, this is the third episode in a row. <laughs> I have a problem. Um, but you know what? I'm just really sad and alone right now in like real life. And these Sims make me really happy. And I mean like all of my Let's Plays make me really happy. But like, I don't know. This is the one that like gives me hope for the future, you know. Just a cute lesbian couple and their cute kids. I don't know. It makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> um, and I, I like talking to you guys, even if you're not really there. It's, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just comforting, I guess. I don't know. You guys make me feel better. Oh, dear Lord! <laughs> we have another snow day! Is there a mod that makes them stop having freaking snow? I mean, I guess I could cheat the weather to stop to like, if I, if I could just, I could literally just like change weather to sunny and then I can just set snow level low. I literally could have done that, <laughs> but no, I hadn't thought about that. I also didn't really want to blatantly cheat, but I mean, I just did because I was getting really annoyed. Um, okay, well, you're going to unclog the toilet after you're done using it. You need to clean the shower. If you're not going to go to school, you need to make yourself useful some other way. I guess we're on, on baby duty and on cleaning duty today. <sighs> Let's see, we're 100% um, done with our homework. We have a C in school because we haven't gone to school in a million years, but also she becomes a young adult in 24 days. So we have quite some time before we have to worry about that at all. So go clean the toilet too. We should like make friends our age, maybe. <laughs> Who's this chick? Can we call her? She's our friend, right? Yeah, kind of. Oh, she's a babysitter. Interesting. Here, you know what? Don't make your bed. Just, just call your friend. Oh, hi, baby boy. All right, he's gonna need his little diapy changed. Change dirty diaper. And then we can put him in the high chair without feeding him because he's not super hungry yet. Um, she is gonna wanna cook some breakfast. Um, so why don't you serve pancakes? I know. You have a dirty diaper. It's so uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. You're gonna live, I promise. Did she not want to talk to us? Rude. All right, you can make your bed now, I guess. Does anyone else want to talk to us? Who's that? Terry Rowe. She's a little kid, right? Yeah. Oh no, she's not anymore. Terry's in high school now. Let's see if we can, we'll chat with Cherry. She's older and we have a tiny bit of a relationship with her. Okay, she's not hanging up on us. She'll talk to us. Appreciate that, Terry. Thanks. Okay, um, please give him baby food. And then serve, um, you know what? Serve some PB&J. By the time you're finished with it, it's going to be lunchtime anyway. All right. How are the baby's friendships? God, he's got lots of people here now. His aunt didn't get to interact with him at all because she was busy getting engaged and all that. We'll talk to her more when we're older. 
Oh, don't suck up to boss. Chat at water cooler. Why is she in such a bad mood? God, she gets way too stressed way too quickly. Don't worry, babe. We know how to fix that. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm disgusting. I'm so sorry. Yeet. Okay. Um, can we chat with Terry again? My goal is to eventually get her over to our house today and just, like, hang out with her a little bit, you know? Little boy is finished eating. Yay. PB and J. We love that for us. Okay. She's going to eat PB and J. Use the toilet, take a shower, because <clears throat> our daughter cleaned and unfixed everything for us this morning. She's currently on the phone with her little friend, but once she's done, she can... Um, why don't you teach him how to walk, huh? Wow, Terry really is, is talking to us a lot, huh? That's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. Look at how good our relationship's getting. You know who I miss? I miss this kid. What was his name? Clifton. I miss little Clifton, but he's too young for us now. We can't hang out with little children. That makes us look weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to put this away, lest it get bad. Why did I just say that? Lest it get bad. <laughs> so dumb and dramatic. That's me. Um, make your bed. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just chill. Oh, God, she's so stressed. She wants to go to a dive bar. Honey, don't we all? Don't we all? She is such a stressed bean. Oh, my goodness. She's not even doing anything. She's chatting at the water cooler. Honey, you need to, like, you need to calm yourself down. Oh, the baby fell. Oh, He's so cute. Okay, I'm thinking not this episode, but the next episode, we will see about moving into a new house. Oh, I forgot. We have work today. All right, you need to stop teaching him to, to walk. We need to eat leftover peanut butter and jelly. Dang it. I guess we're not inviting anybody over then. If we're, uh, we gotta go to work and stuff. I forgot about that. All right, put the child down. Eat your food. We don't have time for this crap. Jack, Jack. Okay, he has to pee pee a little bit. So, uh, he gonna do that. And then play with blocks. Oh, did you have a cold shower, my love? I am so sorry to hear that. That is just such a shame. I don't really know what to tell you about that. I really wish these plants weren't dormant. We could really use to make money from plants. <laughs> um, I mean, I think we're going to have enough money just from, like, Noelle's work and everything. 340 simoleons, not bad. She's super duper stressed. Piper, that's your ride, honey. You're going to be very tired when you get home. I don't know why she keeps going to bed so late. Well, we did have a party last night. That's true. Okay, um, you should relax in bed and wait for your wifey poo. Because y'all need to, to do some, some relaxing, if you know what I mean. Okay, Noelle. Relax. Time for you to de-stress, honey boo. Alrighty, go to work, Piper! Yay, Piper! We love you, Piper! Okay, little mister is getting his fun up at his little table. We love that for him. Hi, ladies. What's good? Look at her cute little work outfit. She looks so cute. I love that little blue collar on her. She's so cute. Anyway, um, let's just get right to it, shall we? <laughs> Ready? Just watch her fun. Ready? Watch it shoot up. Boom. <laughs> and she's not stressed anymore. <laughs> Amazing how that works, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, is she going to go to sleep? Because I don't really want her to. Kind of want her to bond with her son a little bit. Okay, good. 
Okay, I want you to teach him how to walk a little bit. Because that'll get your relationship up, you know what I'm saying? And he is already friends with your wife and not you and not your daughter, so we'll see. Okay, Carmen, let's do some more meal prep. How about you serve some spaghetti? Play a game with Noel. Reach level six of the cooking skill. Yeah, I'll promise that. You're going to cook right now. Not that anybody's hungry, and we do have PB&J in the fridge, but, you know, just in case. We just, we're just going to stock up on meals from now on, you know? I wish we could feed li the little babies, like, peanut butter and jelly, or, like, if, like, oh, my God, wouldn't it be so cute if we could, like, put spaghetti on their tray and, like, watch them eat spaghetti? Have you ever watched a baby eat spaghetti? It's so damn cute. <laughs> uh. oh, gosh, why do their part-time job performance... Why is it so slow? Oh, he's so cute. Now I really want to watch him eat spaghetti, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> I want to watch my son eat spaghetti. When does he age up? Eight days. Okay, so we have plenty of time. Plenty, plenty of time. He's probably like, he's probably still two or three. He's still a wee bab. Oh, a dirty counter. We'll have to do something about that. God, I want spaghetti. I could very easily make spaghetti right now. I'm home alone. It would be all mine. But I had Chinese food for dinner, and I don't want to waste spaghetti. Like, I'm not even that hungry. I literally only want it because I'm watching her make it. <laughs> um, you know, it's like 7.38 right now. Maybe in an hour, if I'm still hungry, I'll make it. But at that point, it's almost going to be 9 o'clock. And if I eat tomato sauce that late, I'll probably have reflux in the night. Although I didn't sleep last night, so I wonder if I'm going to sleep tonight. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really just rambling. I got approximately zero hours of sleep last night. Like, actually, zero hours of sleep. Okay, 88 simoleons. Thank you. Like, I literally did not sleep at all. That, and that, that is the first time in my life that I've pulled an all-nighter. And it wasn't even on purpose. It wasn't like I had anything to do. I just couldn't fall asleep. And I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before in a previous episode of something because I'm pre-recording a heck ton today. Um, oh, just a stupid opportunity. We're going to ignore it. Um, but um, I was in turmoil in my personal life yesterday, and so I couldn't fall asleep, and every time I fell asleep, I felt panicked. So I just didn't want to fall asleep. So I stayed up, and I built a in The Sims until 4 a.m., and then I was like, oh, it's 4 a.m., I guess I'm not going to bother going to sleep now. I'll just do laundry. <laughs> so I did laundry at four in the morning. And I've, I've done, I did a lot of laundry today because I didn't, it wasn't even just like at 4 a.m. I did it like all, I was doing laundry all day too. And the head start that I got at 4 a.m. was very helpful. So like, good for me, you know? Okay. Dude, would she get her fun up by reading to her brother? Would that get her fun up? Um, read with Jack, read Jimmy Sprocket and the Squishy Stone. I don't even think that one's educational. I think that one's just fun. Hi, Carmen. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't talked to our parents. I think it's time to call mom again. Just be like, hey, um, missed you on Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, you have a grandson now. We adopted him. His name is Jack. Love you. <laughs> Maybe not love you. I mean, she does love her, but it's kind of a lot for her to say that right now. I mean, it's a lot for her to say ever just because it's, it's just a lot. Can she not read with him? Sometimes I remember that I literally named this kid because I was looking at a picture of Jack Nicholson. <laughs> it just makes me laugh really hard. <laughs> I think that's really funny. Are we not going to read with... Okay, that's fine. Just watch TV. Your brother can watch with you. Then you can both get your fun up, and maybe you guys can, like, bond about it or something. Honey, I have to tell you, you can't rightly see the TV from where you're sitting, kid. Like, tell me, how, how is this view working out for you? 
Huh? How's that going? <laughs> that the Sims are dumb. <laughs> wow, we've been talking to our mom for a long time. That was a really long conversation. I'm impressed. Last time she hung up on us. Did our relationship <gasps> Look, we're in the green with our mom again. That's huge. That's really big. All right, let's try dad, who is not named Jack, who is named Richard. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I accidentally named him after her dad, but like, I made that up. His name isn't Jack. I really just don't know where that came from. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> and that's all you need to know, is that I'm dumb. Okay, Piper, um, can you please, uh, snuggle him. I know, you're tired, relax. Tickle him. And then... Feed him in his high chair, please. <sighs> this conversation with Dad's going really well, too. He hasn't hung up on us yet, either. Nice. All right, are we in the green with Dad? Let's see. Yeah, we're in the green with Dad. Nice. I keep clicking on Piper thinking it's Noel and clicking on Noel thinking it's Piper just because they have they both have blonde hair. Ooh, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm really I'm impressed. We are making great progress with our parents, and um maybe we should uh chat with our dad at some point. Oh my god, I just realized I was like, oh, I'm going to cheat the weather so she'll have school tomorrow. But she simply won't have school tomorrow either way because tomorrow's Saturday. So um, there goes that. But um, we can maybe invite Terry over early in the day before we have work. Okay, wait. After we give our brother food, let's call and talk with Terry one more time. Carmen, Miss Carmen, um, you could eat some peanut butter and jelly. Okay, once you get off the phone with Terry, you need to go the heck to sleep, kid. You are a sleepy bean. Oh, Noelle's phone is ringing. She doesn't have work tomorrow either, right? Oh, no. No, she does not. She is off this weekend. That's good. She won't get stressed this weekend. Good for her. Oh, that didn't last very long, huh? I guess it was late. She wanted to hang up. She wanted to go to bed. Maybe we can talk to our dad tomorrow. Maybe just, just on the phone we'll talk to him. Come on, go to bed, kid. Just just go to bed. All right. Um, You can't... <coughs> Sorry, my voice just, like, died. <laughs> I was like... <coughs> um, <laughs> you just choke on all of my words. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Um... I'm getting way too comfortable with this, like, talking to you guys thing, like, in especially this series in general, because this is the third one I've recorded in a row today. I've literally been recording the Runaway Teen Challenge for, like, five hours. <laughs> Woo, I love it. I, and I'm still not tired of it. Like, I would still do another one if it wasn't completely unreasonable. Like, I'm, I'm two weeks ahead on all of my series, but I'm three weeks ahead, four weeks ahead on this one. So I'm two weeks ahead of all my other series with The Runaway Teen because I'm obsessed with it, which is kind of pathetic. And I really should pay attention to my other series because I like them just as much, but they're just, they're just not as relaxing as this one. Or I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, it's probably just the lesbian thing. I'm, I'm just really gay, okay? I'm going to cut back in the morning. <laughs> Jeez, Noelle's up already? Her sleep schedule is kind of wrecked, if you ask me. <laughs> but, you know... Such is the life of a hard-working businesswoman. Am I right, ladies? It just really do be like that sometimes. I miss our garden. Okay, well, we have one day. Oh, it's 13 degrees out. That is really cold. 13 degrees is cold. Anything below 20 is really bad. I once had to walk to rehearsal, and it was one single degree outside. One degree. And that's not including wind chill. So it felt like it was, like, negative 10. But like, just, 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 just think about that for a second. I had to walk my ass two blocks to rehearsal, and I—it's not as far as some people have to walk, so I'm grateful for that. But I mean, to, one degree, 
and I, I nearly slipped and broke my ass like eight times on the way there. But don't worry, we still had rehearsal. <laughs> oh boy. This kid's gonna pee himself before he wakes up, which is quite the shame. I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go to the Winter Festival and do some wild things like snowboarding and, and um, s snowball fight contests and stuff to win some festival tickets, and then we can exchange those for items that we can sell for money. So, um, yeah. But we're gonna bring our friend with us, that way we can we can bond with her, Miss Terry. Um, and we're gonna bring, the whole family's gonna go. We're all gonna contribute to collecting tickets, and it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a good time, we're gonna bring the baby, and he's gonna experience the winter festival, even if he can't really do much but sit there. <laughs> um, I wish there was something for the toddlers to do at the festivals. It's kind of sad that there's not. Um, she's going to take a nap on the couch just to, you know, maybe be on the same sleep schedule as her wife. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay, when Carmen gets up, she's going to probably need to change his diaper. Can we just like, can, can, can he just, wait, oh no, I've made a mistake. Oh, he's going to start crying now. I've, I've made a mistake. I thought by clicking that it would just automatically make him pee himself, but I guess not. <laughs> so that's my bad. All right, he needs a diaper change. He needs some social. So let's give him a tickle, toss in the air. A bit of a chat, if you will. All right, Piper, time for you to get up. Okay, that's my timer, but um, I want them to at least get to the Winter Festival before I go. So just hang, I feel like I haven't done anything yet. I feel like this episode hasn't even really started yet. Like, I feel like nothing has happened yet. So I'm really just not, I'm not ready to, to, to go. Okay, I think we should feed him on the floor for today, just because I just don't feel like waiting to take him in and out of the high chair. Yes, Terry's gonna come over. That's my queen. I'm so happy. Oh my God, it's, okay, now it's 18 degrees. That's still very cold. 18 degrees, like, again, anything below 20 is, oh, she got here real quick. Okay, queen. Hello, I see you. What the heck is that outerwear? She's got a 50s skirt, a jacket, and go-go boots. What the, I, I certainly didn't give that to you. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if she was wearing pants, because then you couldn't see how high the, the shoes were. <laughs> it's just really funny. Oh, oh. 75 simoleon bills. Isn't that a shame? We're losing all that money. Okay, boo-boo. Come out here. Mommy number two wants to play with you. Here, teach him to walk. Just go for it, you know? Just while we're waiting for Piper to get out of the shower... We won't have her pee. She can pee at the festival. I just want to get there. Here, get out of the shower. We're all going to go. Adventure time. All right, we're just going to put our child down in the snow that is um, half of his body. I'm going to put on his everyday wear because it's actually warmer than his, um, what's it, outerwear? Um, yeah, he's got like a little, um, oh, shoot. He's got a little jacket for his everyday wear. A little hoodie, if you will. All right, they're gonna have a snowball fight. And um, if one of them wins, which they will, because they're bound to, since there's only two of them, and they're both in my household, we'll get 25 tickets. So go us. Um, this child, is, is he just gonna sit in the snow? I guess so. Okay, let's get to know our friend here, huh? Let's see. Enthuse about outdoors. It really bothers me that she simultaneously loves the outdoors and is a couch potato. That, like, bugs me a lot. <laughs> um, tell her a joke because we're so hecking funny. And then do more goofball stuff. No, don't do romantic, Jesus. Uh, goof around, impersonate a celebrity. That gets them every time, you know? No, stop with the romantic. God. Can we snowboard, like, together? Like, how does this... Oh, look, our dad's here! Is that our dad? You are my dad. You're my dad. Boogie, oogie, oogie. Is that VJ? I can't tell. Oh, no, that's not him. That's somebody else that wears a robe. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that was a really cute sound that just came out of my throat. Gotta tell you. 
Here, maybe we can ice skate. I think ice skating counts too. And then we can ask her to join us. How is this going over here? I super duper wish you weren't wearing a skirt. You look like a dingus. <laughs> See, see what a difference the pants makes? Yes, red pants. I love that it matches a little, th oh, cute. Queen, love it. Look at this beauty. I love her so much. She looks so much better without that dumb skirt on. Oh, <laughs> her wife just nailed her in the face with a snowball, to be clear. Oh, she's freezing. <laughs> Aw, look at them laughing at each other. They're so cute. Oh my God, our child is literally buried in the snow. <laughs> Dear God. All right, how's it going over here? Come on, do your funny stuff. Everyone loves when you're funny. Terry looks like she's super comfy right now. Nice yoga pants, a comfy sweater. Honestly, I envy you, Terry. Although, look who's talking. I'm sitting here in sweatpants, a t-shirt, and fuzzy monkey socks, so I don't really know who I'm envying. I'm pretty comfy right now. I've been in my pajamas all freaking day, so. <laughs> Celebrity impersonation. Oh. oh, the carpool. But we didn't even do anything fun yet. We've just been talking. Quick, go skate. Oh, we can't call her over to join us in our skating? Well, that's okay. Oh, I gotta get screenshots of her skating on a pond. This is so cute. Oh, we should wait till we're more comfortable with skating. Oh, I didn't know it was like a skill. Ooh, what if what if um, Piper became like a figure skating legend? Is that a thing? Can you do figure skating in The Sims? Not doing too bad. She's pretty good. Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Hey, she didn't fall though. She caught herself like a champ. Oh, what a pretty girl. All right, you have to go to work, sweetie. I'm sorry. Did you get any tickets, though, from skating? None. <sighs> How about you guys? Anything? Nope. Oh, did you stop? Are you too hungry? Did you get any tickets? Either of you. Oh, my God. What a waste of my time. Okay, there were flowers, though, that we can pick. And there are seeds. Oh, a lettuce seed. We don't need lettuce seeds. Who needs a freaking lettuce seed? Not us. They're useless. Okay, um. Pick Sweet William. Pick Sweet William. Pick Indian Blanket. Ugh, all so rare and so, so costly. So rare, so costly, so luxurious. If you brought me diamonds. <laughs> If you brought me pearls. Okay, we're gonna go home with our kid. I also should probably end the episode because we've been going for quite a while. I would just like to pick those flowers and sell them first. Please pick up your little boy. Well, if, if nothing else, we gained a skill of throwing things at each other. Here, let's sell this ticket for three simoleons. And um, we learned how to ice skate like a tiny bit. Oh, she did get tickets. Hang on, I shouldn't have sold that one then. Hold up, give them to Noel. Ew, who was hitting on my wife? Shove off. Who the hell do you think you are? Nasty. Go away, I'll kill you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sweet William, 200 simoleons. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, we broke 9,000. <gasps> 200 more, and I know the Indian blanket is worth 400. I know. I know for a fact. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes! Oh my gosh, we're so rich. I am lit. Go redeem festival tickets, kid. Ah, uh, we can't afford anything with just five tickets. That's okay. We can let them accumulate over the next couple of festivals. If we win an eating contest in the spring festival, that'll be good. That's lots of money right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, well, on that note, folks, I think it's time to go. We nearly have broken a thousand in the... Hello? Oh, my God. Die! All right, we've nearly broken a thousand. I really think in the next episode we'll be able to afford a new house where um, our kids will each have their own room. And it'll still be small because we're still not, you know, rich as Cretius here. 
but it'll be better than what we have. Not that this isn't good. This is a really nice house considering where we came from, you know, our humble beginnings and all that. I just would like something bigger that would get all of our kids, all two of our kids to have their own room. And I don't want to just stop with Jack, you know. I do eventually want to have even more toddlers or maybe even a baby or maybe even adopting a, an older child, like an actual child. I don't know. We'll have to see. But either way, the more kids we have, the bigger the house is going to have to get. And right now, um, we don't want him to turn like four without having his own room. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't want him to be sleeping in a crib in his parents' bedroom forever, you know? How did you earn more than you? Why does the, the amount fluctuate? Does she get tips depending on how hard she works or something? I don't know. All I know is that she's very thrust and we want to have her watch TV. And then maybe chat with Terry a little bit. Just, you know. Oh, maybe chat with her dad too. Yeah. And then she can eat leftover spaghetti and just go to sleep. But anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you're excited for the big move in the next episode. Um, I think I'm going to use a house that I've built, um, but obviously modify it so that it doesn't... That I'm going to buy it unfurnished, of course, because we're poor, but that's fine. Um, <clears throat> here she is, Little Miss Piper. And yeah, this is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, guys. Okay, babe. Okay, wait. But can we talk about this smile? I'm sorry. Like, I know I already did my whole outro, but can we just, like, can we talk about that? Can we talk about how gosh darn gorgeous she is? Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, my God. How do you say no to that face? Oh, God. I'm obsessed with her. Anyway, gotta go. Bye.